Now, I'll click on Select, which allows me to select the different items on my drawing to either manipulate them, rotate them, or resize them. In this case, I want to resize. So now I can click on the rectangle, and then hold the Shift key, and then click on my text. Or I can just draw a marquee around the whole object, and that selects everything. I'm going to go ahead and resize it. Now remember, I don't want to go outside the red line because that's my cut area. So there I have it. To cut this design, it's real simple. It's this little icon right up here. But before we press that, let's go ahead and save our job. So I'll go click on this little icon that says Save. I'll put it exactly where I want it. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and call it my first design. And click on Save. Now it's all saved and re ready to cut. Like I said, it's very simple. You just look for the cutter icon, which is up here. Obviously, this looks like a printer, but this looks like a cutter, so I'll go ahead and click that, which will bring me to this window, which asks me how many copies I want. I only want one, so I'll click OK, and this brings me to my controller. Now this menu, or this window, may look very confusing, but what's nice about it is it has this little feature down here which basically is the operational guide. It steps you through through each step what settings you should have. So right now it asks me what media type I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using Bristol. So I'll come up here and I'll click on here on this little pull down menu. And this is all the media and material that has been set up in perfect settings for what material you're using or you're ready to cut. In this case I'm using Bristol paper so I'll go ahead and select that and it, right there it tells me which tool to use. So right now what I'm going to do is change my tool to a yellow tip. So I'll do that. So I take the blade holder, I remove the blue cap which I currently have on there and then uh, put that down and then go to my selection of either uh, yellow and red. Well it's telling me yellow so I'll go ahead and select the yellow put the blue back and then I'll put the yellow cap onto the blade holder. Now that the cap has been replaced with the yellow cap I can place that into the holder and then twist the knob clockwise to tighten it down. Okay, so now I've switched back to the controller. Now I've switched it to the yellow tip as it told me to. So what do I do next? I select the media type and I switch the tool to yellow and the next selection will tell me to switch the blade adjustment cap. Well I've done that so let's go ahead and click on next and then it says the design orientation. Now typically when you're running with RoboMaster through the controller it will pick that up automatically. As you recall I set the drawing to landscape and that's exactly what the design orientation is set to. So I'm all set so I'll click on next and it'll tell me what to do next. Now it says go ahead and load the media on the Graph Robo. Now I've already done that and I've checked the loading direction as it says here and I'll click OK. I'll click on next. I don't need registration marks and then of course I'll click on next and it says start cutting. So now I can go ahead and just click on this cut and watch the Craft Robo start cutting your design. It'll ask me am I ready to cut? Is everything okay before I start cutting? And I'll click on OK. Now it may run back and forth as you see here. It's just trying to establish tracks so it doesn't lose its registration. And here we are, we're finishing it up. Now I just press enter, which will unload the sheet. And then I'll take my sheet off. And here is my design. I can take out the letters. And either I can use the letters, or I can use the whole rectangle. And you shouldn't be afraid to cut these kind of letters. So be creative as possible. It's a great little product. Now that we know the cutter is connected and is working, we can move on to other segments of this video.
Now if you'd like, feel free to get creative by creating other types of designs using the tools that we just covered in RoboMaster. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.